My bacon must have fallen through the world. That is a terrible thing to have happen. Losing your bacon like that. It's a very, very sad day. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to resume the mission here that we've been on for quite some time. Um, we have geared ourselves up, if you haven't uh, watched the last few episodes, and uh, spent the, spent some time here in this um, northern forest biome, uh, where our, our drop pod is, and uh, we now are now equipped with... Uh, let's see, we got a titanium knife. Uh, I got my workshop Larkwell bow, but I also made a, a backup recurve bow. We got a hunting rifle, um, the Jiju spear, platinum pickaxe, iron hammer, med uh, medicine bandages, food, shelter for going in the Arctic. I've got 55 steel arrows, 89 flint arrows, and 28 aluminum arrows. Um, so we'll use the flint arrows first, because those are the cheapies. Oh, and I also still have 13 of the of the explosive arrows, too. And we have 200 rifle rounds. Some medicine up here, and uh, some hot cocoa for going into the Arctic. Some food, campfire, etc., etc. Okay, so, you know, one thing I need to do, though, is why don't we... We need to take our canteen out of here so we don't have the cooling effect. So what we'll do is let's go ahead and consume one of these right now. And then we're just going to drop this because it's not going to do us any good. And we'll put that into there. Okay, let's do this. So we need to locate the lost equipment. Hopefully there isn't a storm. You know, I should have actually waited to <laughs> check that before I drank the cocoa, but it looks like we're good. Um, let's take a look at the map here. Uh, yeah, so we have to get to this area here. I'm going to uh, put a marker down there and find some lost equipment. So let's do this. It's a nice sunny day in the Arctic, at least for the moment. It's not going to stay that way. I'm going to try and conserve ammo as much as possible. Uh, we don't need any of that stuff. I have never been uh, in this part of the sticks map before, so this is all new territory. Kind of cool looking. Looks like we might have some escarpments that we have to get down again. Or maybe not. We'll see. It is a gorgeous sunny day though in the Arctic. Oh, let's get our traveling spear out. If you guys didn't know, this gives you 10% speed and 10% stamina regeneration. So it's a really good um, tool to have for running around on foot. Might be a cave over that way and possibly over that way too. This is one of those underground places. Okay, well, let's just stay on task here. It's uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, so we have some daylight left. Not a ton. Again, I have no idea what's ahead of us, so I'm really trying to conserve my ammo and my durability on my bow and gun. So if we can use the knippy, we're going to use the knippy. All right, we're out of the Arctic. Still not at this this thingy. Let's take a look at our map here. 
Okay, so it's going to be around the corner here. Okay. Well, um, I think what we're going to do before we start this fight, and it's getting dark anyway, is let's put our bedroll down in here so that way we have a spawn point in case we do die. And a place to spend, like I said, spend the night. Get rid of these dudes. On point. It's bear outside. Okay. Where's that bear? You know, the other thing we could do and should do. Is, uh, let's go ahead and sleep and then we'll do this in the morning. Because otherwise it's going to get dark on us. Ooh, there's a little glitch there. We'll just pretend we didn't see that. I don't think we got our arrows back from the first batch, did we? Sleep. And let's catch ourselves on fire too. Yeah, that was smart. Son of a bitch. Can I drink this? That doesn't seem to do any good for fire. Okay, yeah, that was smart. We've got quite a bit of health, even after that, though, so... Come on. No, let's just butcher him. I think I was hitting the carcass and not the wolf. That's why I wasn't dying. They're all coming in before we even start the quest. Or the event. I know there's a pig around here somewhere too. I don't want him sneaking up on us. Or a Komodo for that matter. these carcasses around now, which could draw additional critters. Where's the pit, though? A little bastard would sneak up on us when we least expect it. Plus, I like bacon. I heard a pig around here somewhere. I don't know where he is. Okay, well, let's get this party started. And you know what? I, th I think we should get rid of these. At least, I don't, I don't think the skeletons attract predators, so we just got to get the meat. I still feel like I hear that pig around. Oh, there he is, right there. We're going to 
keep that. The rest of this stuff I don't care about. Okay, let's get this party started while we still have our sleeping buff. I also have a bear too, but can't wait forever. That's it. Systems online. Yep, and nothing's going to happen now. These guys need to be a little more inventive about these place the radar thing down quest and they get rushed by critters. At least I'm assuming that's going to happen. It always does. Where's that bear at? Yep, here they come. Why is my hammer not on my toolbar? Hard to get the right spot on it. Why am I having such a hard time getting the frickin' hammer? Probably because the corpses are in the way, maybe? Oh man, this sucks. Repair the damn thing! You're pissing me off, game! It won't stay... There we go. Finally. I guess I need to aim right at the LED panel. Or LCD panel, rather. Okay. Here comes the bear. Well, there was no point in cleaning up all the corpses. <laughs> yeah, seriously, they really need to do something different with these types of missions, because it's the same damn thing every single time you do it. It's getting a little bit old hat. Just saying. How much time we got left? Getting close. Ninety-two percent complete. Must be done. Okay, collect the station. Hold X to pick up. Let's see if we can get some of our arrows here. I don't really actually want to butcher those guys because it's just wearing out the durability on my knife. Okay, scan the ice flats region. Alright, let's go back and get our bedroll and our fireplace and then we'll go to this ice flats region.
Oh, let's grab this. Uh, I guess we can't actually take this because we have salted bacon. Wait, do we? Yeah, it's salted. So, here, we don't need that, actually, so here, we'll take this. Come on, grab it. There we go. Okay, so, let's take a look at the map and see where we're going next. Back there. Well, why didn't you just send us there in the first place, game? We just went by there. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupid mission design. Let's design a mission and have it do the same exact thing that all the other missions of that type do. Exactly. And by the way, I think the player will enjoy having you run past where they need to go the second time and then have to backtrack. I think that'll, that'll be fun gameplay. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Ugh. Okay, we're back in the Arctic. Um, here, we're going to have to get rid of this. Sucks, but I don't want to keep that in there because it gives us the cooling buff. Well, actually, no, because we can just eat another or drink another cocoa. And then, uh oh, where'd my bacon go? I lost my bacon. And of course, a storm shows up right after we drink the cocoa. Oh, wait, is that storm? That storm's in the forest biome. Okay, so that was actually good timing. Never mind. My bacon must have fallen through the world. That is a terrible thing to have happen, losing your bacon like that. It's a very, very sad day. This is the place. You know what to do. Okay, before we get started, let's uh, set this stuff up. Okay. You guys know the drill. I have a sneaking suspicious, uh, suspicious suspicion that we're probably going to get polar bears or maybe even mammoths in this one. So let's... Switch to our steel arrows. Um, let's also top off our food. Okay. online and everything will be just fine and nothing's gonna happen snow cat drop. He's not dropping. I'm pressing G and he's not dropping. Hello. Oh, because I need to press O. Duh. <laughs> I knew that. I was just testing you guys. Whew. That scared me for a second. Down with the sickness. 
I was trying to butcher that dude so I could get my arrow back from him. Uh, right there. Okay. Can they actually come up above the cliff there? I don't think they can. Oh, what's happening with the lighting? That's weird. That's the game doing that. Great. You get to fight snow leopards with strobe lights going on. What could possibly go wrong in that scenario? Eighty percent complete. And we're done. Scan the dry ridge region. Now we get to go into the desert. It's a long ways down. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Looks like there might be a passageway right through here. Oh, so let's actually move that direction. This way. Uh, well, no, we gotta go get our stuff first. Time is 12.42. Okay. Let's go. say it's time for some construction this is why the quest is called vertigo <laughs> okay um so let's just come in here real quick but we know this passage is going to be blocked i'm sure 
Well, is it? Uh, Houston? What the hell? It's unblocked. I can't think of anything that I would have done on multiplayer to have unblocked this. Well, okay, so much for vertigo. <laughs> Guess that isn't happening. Oh. Kind of disappointing, actually. That would have been... That would have been one hell of a long build to get up there, too. My goodness. Can you imagine? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't remember ever being in this... Over in this area on the... You know, when I've played on multiplayer on sticks. So I'm not sure why that's open. Obviously, it wasn't supposed to be. <sighs> All right, well... Travel through the marked cave. Optional. Wait a second, what? I'm looking on on the, the quest instructions on the left-hand side of the screen. So you're saying that I can optionally travel through the easy passage in the cave instead of spending hours and hours and hours grinding resources to build a stairway up a 300-foot mountain? Who is the quest designer in this game? Oh my goodness. Rocketworks, you need to fire that dude. Or do that. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe it. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Let's just keep on keeping on. Jeez Louise. It's too bad though, because... You know, I was ex be being as how the quest is named Vertigo or the mission. I was expecting something along those lines, but it would be absolutely ludicrous for me to to build a stairwell up the mountain when I can just walk through the cave. <laughs> I mean, seriously, Here, let's go down to the water and refill our canteen just so it's completely full. Okay, guys, um, I have some bad news. <laughs> my, uh, my recorder, uh, recording software crashed. Yeah, OBS crashed. Um, and I didn't even realize it. Well, actually, no, what happened was it kept recording, but I don't know what the hell happened. Anyways, um, so I lost some footage. The last thing that happened is we had just kind of come through the cave and I was kind of dissing the mission about how it wanted us to do a vertigo over the cliff but then gave us a cave to go through instead uh, which I still think is ridiculous um, so I got to this little butte here and the thingamadoodle was up on the top so I ran all the way back to the oasis cut down a bunch of trees made a bunch of of these wood ramps came back here built the ramp up did the scanner thingy, nothing happened because, of course, nothing could get to me. And then came back down and picked up the ramps uh, on the way down. Um, and then the quest updated and wants me now to go find these this lost equipment over here. So, apologize for um, losing that footage. Light sandstorm. We could probably stay out of that and be okay. But uh, I, I didn't even notice it that it had happened so apologize but it is what it is and we will just pick up from here and continue on so yeah nothing significant happened it pretty much went down exactly the way i just meant explained to you and ooh, look at that sandstorm coming in and so let's keep on keeping on here that's a friggin light sandstorm dang Dang, bro. Is there any caves around here? I mean, I suppose we could put our shelter up. Um, here. Let's go here and... Whoops. Wrong button. Let's eat some of this. 
the red part's not going to last very long, so I, I think we'll be okay. Famous last words, right? I will duck into a cave if I can find one. <laughs> That's pretty badass looking, actually. Kind of like uh, in Conan Exiles when the sandstorms come in. Same kind of idea. and see if there's a cave. Here we go. Let's put our cheap arrows in for these worms. Alright, I'm just going to hang out in this cave until the storm's done, and then we will continue on. Okay, the worst of the storm has passed. So, let's... Let's move! What is that rumbling noise? the hell? I've never seen that before in this game. Wow, that's new. Is that like one of the normal worms and they can now travel? What a trip. It even leaves like a little sand trail. What happens when it hits the rock face? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. scan sites. You're going to have to build up there. That's some aim. You'd think they would do better with all the tech they have. Nah, it's no big deal. We got the ramps for it. I'm glad I picked the ramps back up, though. Okay. So I guess... I'm starting to kind of see why they're calling it Vertigo, because we had to build up on that other butte, too. Um, is this the same shape as the other one? Because it kind of looks like it might be. Yeah, I think it is. Because this is exactly the same. Yeah, okay, so what I did was I came up here. So you can at least kind of see how I built the ramp on the other one. Um, and then there and there to get up here. And then we did something like this to get up here. Come on, you can do it. And we walked around here. This is exactly the same rock as that other one. Um, I think we came this way next. Let's get out a little more. Okay, guys, um, I'm back. I had a, 
I had a phone call that I had to take. And so, yeah, I had a phone call. All right. So we are at this piece of equipment. Um, I wonder if we should sleep because I don't know what's going to happen after we do this. So why don't we go ahead and just set up our little shack here and sleep the night. So that way we can start this in the morning. May not matter, but like I said, I don't know. So we're going to play this on the safe side. Okay, let's see what happens. Broken laser parts. Looks a little worse for wear. Hmm. Fixable. Up for repair and bleeding edge tech with nothing but your wits and what you can forage? You better be. It's the only way we move forward. Oh, for I figure sake. you'll need a crafting bench. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn it. Nothing's ever easy, right? Um, so, let's see here. Looks like there's... Uh, maybe an oasis down there. We're going to need some trees to build a crafting bench. But um, I think what we're going to have to do, guys, is wrap up the episode here. We've already gone pretty long, actually. Um, and then, you know, pick up basically where we uh, where we left off in the next episode. So uh, I'm going to pick up these ramps and then I'm going to go that way and find a place with some trees so that we can build a crafting bench. Then we'll repair this laser and then figure out what the this crazy mission wants us to do next. Whoops. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. See ya.